Your radiance is our rapture, soul. For though you have left us to battle the cold and chaos, you leave a single scale behind to light our way. For this your hunters dance, great are the children of your light. Hear us sing, O goddess, as we seek to exchange seed for blood. As we honor the pact of your laws, as we wait for your return, and with it, the dawn. Remember, Don Leg, we're looking for a conifer. I'm not blind, Green Feather. I'm one of the ones with chicks back at the nest. Thanks, so you're not the father. They'd likely starve to death. Lightstep? Oh, oh, Crested One? Did you hear that? She's insulting me again. I heard. Well? Aren't you going to do anything about it? Only whiny half-growns need their honor defended by their crested. If you think I'm insulting you, you're more than welcome to take satisfaction from me. A true warrior doesn't insult their opponent, Donleg. I'd sully my own impeccable honor if I stooped to fighting you. You little... A conifer. The hunt can begin now. Let us pray. Grandmother, hurry up! Stop yelling, Root. You're frightening your sister. There's nothing to worry about. I'll protect all of you. I promise. <laughs> <laughs> she insists on escorting us. Slows us down, and now she's bragging like she's our crown? As if she could protect anything. She's completely useless. For the last time, you're not in charge of us, so stop acting like it. Leave her alone! You see those scars on her hide? She's a greater warrior than any of you! Moss, shut up! You're embarrassing us! Grandmother, why do you always have to say things like that? Hush now. Let's keep on towards the fern fields. I'm sorry, Grandmother. They're all afraid of the hunters. Are you? Moss, you needn't be afraid of them. They- I know. I know their duty. Do you? It sounds like you've been listening to your brother too much. Tell me if so. But you already know all the stories. I know. But I want to hear them from you. I need to know that you know the pact. Tell me, Moss. All right. <sighs> Soul created the world from the stars. She made every creature and loved them all. But Sefket, the chaos and the cold, was jealous of all the beauty she had made and came to destroy it. Soul rose to battle him, and the world knew darkness for the first time. Every night she left to battle Sefket, and each time she returned, more and more of her creatures had multiplied, crying out for her. So Sol split the world into hunter and hunted, and ordered them to care for each other as she could not. It was a hard, bitter law she introduced, the pact, and to mark it she made the conifer a seed of death and of life. Each day we see Sol's exhaustion in the dawn and the dusk as she rests. Yet without fail she rises again to warm us during the day, and draws the conifers into trees. No amount of pain can come between her and her great adoration for us. We show our love for her with the pact, for as soul sacrifices, so must we. When we show we are ready to die as she dies, sorrow as she sorrows, we triumph as she triumphs. We can do no less for our poor goddess. She would falter, fail in her battle, and die without the heart we give her. Chaos would swallow the world. Her anguish and her victory are venerated by the laws of the pact. Enough. I hate your stupid stories. There's nothing noble about dying. We shouldn't have to die for the hunters. Root. We don't die for them. You've gone mad. What else do we die for, then? None of the other herd beasts talk of this nonsense. Then they have forgotten their duty to each other. All this talk is right, too, my dear. I said I would protect you, and I meant it. How? I hate to tell you this, Grandmother, but I don't think boring them to death with stupid stories will protect any of us. Root, wait!
In exaltation of the pack, Padre, we accept a duel from the Tarrath clan. No. And why not? It's a mistake. You are on the outskirts of the herd. By soul's law, you are offering yourself. Uh, no, you can't. I'm afraid cowardice is not grounds for refusing a duel. Prepare yourself. Stop! By the laws of the pact, it is my right to order you. No! I'll fight them off, Grandmother. The pact gives us the right to choose whom we duel, Hatchling. My warriors and I fear nothing, but it appears we must obey the highest law. Is that you, Lily? Yes. Hello, Lightstep. How is your crowned mother? My son's bloodline runs throughout his herd. I'm a great-grandmother a hundred times over. You must be very proud. So proud. And so tired. No! Get away from her! Boss, no! Brute, you don't understand. Please, please, I beg you. Don't do this, please. Stop it. Can't you see she's in pain? I feel it. Trembling in her bones and burning in her joints. Her teeth are smooth. She can't chew. Soul does not mean for her creatures to suffer so. Do not mock her by daring to ask us to leave her suffering. Do not be afraid, my little ones. I fought the parents and grandparents of Lightstep. These scars are tokens of the many duels I won. But I am tired of fighting. If it would not diminish your esteem, I would like to go to Soul in peace. Our duty to the pact demands no less than your wish. It would be an honor. No. How can you do this? How can you murder one too weak to even fight? If all the ones who glorify the pact sacrifice themselves, how will the laws survive? You. As Soul seeks to sacrifice herself before her creatures, we all must seek to sacrifice ourselves before our kin and companions. This is Soul's law. It is far, far bigger than any of us, and just as bitter as her battle. Know that one day you and your hatchlings will graze upon the forest our fallen bodies have fed. This is the greatest honor we can give. I told you I would protect you, Root. We die for the herd, for our friends, for each other. Not for the hunters, for soul. Sacrifice, love, not even she is above them. Take the conifer, my little ones. Break it open and scatter the seeds around me when I'm gone. The trees will grow for your young ones. Eat with them. And remember me. I will. I promise I will. I will never forget you, Grandmother. Never! Grandmother! Someday, for my Grandmother, I will duel your clan. Duel and win. My warriors and I shall humbly await that day. Are you ready, Mother? Yes. Your dying light is our sorrow, O oh soul. For though you come to us bringing heat and light, you will leave us again alone in the dark. For this your herds cry. Many are the enemies of your light. Hear us chant, O oh goddess, as we accept the seed for our blood, as we honor the pact of your laws, as we revel in your presence and when you leave the twilight.